Guys, it's been a lot of picks. Number one. Who have been bust. Number one overall picks. Then there's been a lot of hits. Question today, though, is what happens if that number one overall pick is the best kicker in the draft, who's a generational talent, who's a superstar X Factor? That's right. Today, guys, we are going to draft Ben Jones as the first overall pick in the draft. And while he has 99 stats in every category except for kick power and accuracy, which is actually the only stats that matter for a kicker, where I think he has like 88 kick accuracy, I want to say, and 80, oh, 88 kick power, 85 kick accuracy, we're going to see how this ends up going. And I think the first thing I want to do here is sim the draft because I am not going to do anything to dictate how this team is created in this first draft. I will be in the future. We will be putting around the best players possible around this guy. Uh, but with that being said, this is going to be the CPU controlling the first draft to see what they think is the best, you know, course of action for this team. So let's go to not manage team. I meant to go ahead and let me go back here real fast. Let me go over to where's the draft recap. Draft recap, thank you. So our kicker as a rookie is a 91 overall. So the CPU did not take a quarterback. They took Monty Norton. They took a left end, a middle linebacker. Okay, so some decent players in all honesty. But it's nothing compared to the first overall pick, which is Ben Jones. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I'll be interested to see how successful he ends up being. Little update here, guys. Um... We just kicked a 66-yard field goal with the new rookie on uh, the first pick overall. So I tried from 67. He missed it a little short. This one, I mean, bro, look at this crap. He probably should have missed this, but he kicked it and it hit the upright and went in. So I, he can't make 67, though. 67 was, again, like I said, just a tad bit too short. But, I mean, when it comes to, like, records, other than Justin Tucker, this guy can easily make pretty much anything. Yeah, he missed a 67-yard field goal, which it is what it is. All right, we're going to attempt this again, okay? 67-yard field goal. Hold up. That is full power and full accuracy. The kick that Justin Tucker made, okay? I uh, can't make it. He made 66. He cannot make 67. That sucks, man. Because I feel like to be rookie of the year, man, you got to beat Tucker. Like, that's the one guy you have to beat, man. Doesn't matter how many kicks you make, how accurate you are, how good you are. And I, I actually, I'm not going to attempt any more long field goals, though, because I don't really want to um, hurt his kicking accuracy in the end, like his actual numbers. But look at that, man. That is how close he is to 67. It's like he can do it, but he can't do it, man. He just... Ah, it sucks. Dude. All right, so after the first game with him... um, Well, first game I played with him. We were 19 for 21. 90% uh, field goal percentage because we kept attempting to go for 67s. We missed two 67s. So his longest he has kicked was a 66. And I'll be honest with you, we're going to see he made 12 field goals, 50 plus yards. I'm going to see if I can get him rookie of the year. That's really honestly the goal right now at this point. Oh, this is kind of disappointing. He's not even on the rookie of the year list so far. And by the way, I sent him to week nine. But here's the kind of rundown of what we have done so far with him. He's 39 for 43. Okay. Obviously, 9 for 9 on extra points attempts. 90% kicking accuracy. This guy has made literally 19 50-plus yard field goals out of 23. He's 12 for 12 uh, up to 49. 6 for 6, 2 for 2. Like, this guy has absolutely destroyed it with a 66-yard field goal as his longest. Somehow, someway, this guy is not even in the competition for Rookie of the Year. I'm going to keep grinding and see if we can somehow, some way get in this competition. 
Because there's no way he should not be in that competition. I understand he's not going to be MVP or something. But, like, for rookie of the year at least, I mean, and who is this? Like, our, one of our guys, Brandon, I, like, bro, you gotta be kidding me. This guy should be MVP. Alright, so, I sim the end of the season. 82 for 88. <clears throat> this is the most made field goals of any kicker in NFL history. 93%, okay? He was, uh, 5 for 5 in attempts up to 29 yards. 12 for 12 up to 39 yards. He was 34 for 35 up to 49 yards. 31 for 36, which is 50 yards or more. This is one of the best kickers in history for one single year, okay? You can't get better than this. That's pretty much all you could say at this point. EA, do not tell me this man did not win MVP. Not MVP, but Rookie of the Year, okay? You can't bullcrap me here, bro. NFC. Alright. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Um. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. I also just realized, but I was looking at Offensive Rookie of the Year earlier. He technically couldn't... I, I don't know what he would be. Would he be Offensive Defense, right? Because... Usually, defense is punting and offense is kicking. <clears throat> That's usually how it works. Because offense, you score with the kicker. Defense, you score, you punt the ball to play defense. He didn't win offense or defense rookie of the year. That is absolutely insanity. <clears throat> Bro, he wasn't even considered the best kicker of the year? How? How was the Vikings kicker better than our kicker? Hold up, nah. He's made 12 for 12 field goals at 100%. He made 12 field goals and missed an extra point when we missed none. And he's considered a better kicker. That is nonsense, bro. That is actually nonsense here. Our boy got absolutely cheated. Literally, a 92 overall rookie kicker. And EA gave his man absolutely no love. <clears throat> he literally got no awards. I mean, he got nothing. He got a Pro Bowl appearance, which is cool. But other than that, this man scored more points for this squad than any other player on this team. He scored so much points for this squad this year. <clears throat> that is insanity. So we we went 11 and 6. We made the playoffs. So let's see what we can do in the playoffs. And we lost. Alright, well, guys, we're going to sim until next year. And I, I'm going to let the CPU control everything. I want to see where he ends up. Alright, so we went 7 and 10 in the previous, oh, following year, not previous year, following year. How good, and why am I going to schedule? I'm meant to go to stats here. How good did our boy do? That's my question. Because he's on a four-year contract at least, unless the Bears give him a fifth-year option. Alright, 13 for 16. He was only 81% like actually accurate. Yeah. Man, I'm so disappointed too. And EA especially, because he should they should easily give kickers, you know, rookie of the years or potentially MVPs. I mean, we could go for MVP. I doubt we're gonna get MVP though, because last year, I mean, we didn't even get on the MVP race. I didn't even uh, look at it too much because we there wasn't even a chance. Like they don't give MVPs to kickers. Even if they are literally the best player possible for their set team. But I'm going to sim 10 years, guys. And I kind of want to see where his career ends up going. Hang on. So 10 years in the future. He's 34. He's actually a 99 overall kicker. In case you're wondering, he is the best player on the Chicago Bears still. And let's see what he has done with his career then. Um, He's been on one team his whole entire career ever since he was the first pick overall. 81%, 100%, 80%. So he's around... He's pretty mid, to be honest. He's like anywhere from 80, 78 and above. But he also had his 70% season one time. So did he ever get a longer field goal than when I kicked 66 yards? Um, Touchbacks. Where's his longest? Field goals made. Oh, here we go. So his longest was me. Yeah, no, 30... 
58 was his second longest, and that was literally 10 years in the future. That was this year. So, man, that's kind of low-key disappointing. Like, he never really panned out to be anything. Did he win any awards? He won the Best Kicker Award in 2033. It took him that long to win the Best Kicker Award. But as a first picker overall, you know, EA doesn't really give too much value to kickers, man. And it does suck a lot because it's like, this is one position I feel like, especially if you're like good enough, if you're like Justin tucker S enough, you, you deserve the credit, you know, you're going to get. You deserve to have your cake and eat it too, as they would say. But let's see how the season ends. I want to see how long before he retires. Because the fact that he stayed with the same team for 10 years is actually low-key amazing. I was not expecting that. Alright, so we got to the playoffs. We actually made the playoffs, ironically enough. I want to see what ends up happening here. And we lose. <clears throat> oh my god, my voice. And we lose. So this is the last year of the contract for the kicker, Ben Jones. So I'm not sure if he's going to still stay on this team. He was 69% kicking percentage. The sad part is... I don't think he would get in the Hall of Fame no matter what, even if we had the most perfect career possible. I don't think he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, I'll be honest with you. Um, because again, like I said, just Madden does not value kickers at all. Like, no matter how good the kicker is, it does not matter with EA. They just say, hey, well, he's a kicker. What do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect us to do, man? So, is he going to retire after his contract ran out? Uh, let's go down to the Bears, and it looks like, no, he is still not retired. So, I'm going to sim to the season and see if he's still in the team. And Ben Jones went to the Cardinals, so 35 years old. First pick overall in the draft, Ben Jones is now an Arizona Cardinal. Let's see what he can do with the Cardinals. And the Arizona Cardinals, I don't know what they did, but the Bears made the playoffs. The Cardinals went 15-2, and 100%. 100 percent 15 and 2 all because of ben jones you can't go 15 and 2 and don't you know do it because of ben jones i refuse to admit that i refuse to say that if someone's going 15 and 2 did not do it because of ben jones all right what well, how did good he do 18 for 19 94 percentile easily that's the reason why they did it they did this because of Ben Jones, and I, I can't stress that enough. I know he's not going to win MVP. I know he's probably not even in the MVP race right now, but man, did they figure something out for themselves. I, I saw Cardinals for a second. I thought that was Ben Jones. Was he the best kicker? He has to be the best kicker. Do not, do not even destroy him right now with the best kicker crap. He's not, dude, they never want to give this guy the best kicker. No matter how good he does, they do not want to give this guy the best kicker. EA Sports is a hater of Ben Jones. It's official. All right, how long was the contract they gave him, though? That's my next question, because I want to see how many years is he technically before he might or might not retire. Um, Contract? It was just a one-year contract. Okay, so this could technically be over with at the end of this year. Um, I want to see if we go to potentially here. Are the Cardinals out of it? Wait, no, hang on. This is divisional, so Cardinals will play divisional. What's the championship like? If the Super Bowl was between those two teams, I might play it. Hold up, let's see. Nope, the Cardinals did not make the Super Bowl. They lost the Eagles 31 to 28. Oh, man, that sucks. Ben Jones, my question is now, will he be able to actually play good here? That's my question here. Will he be able to actually, um, I said not play good, I meant, I meant to say, will he retire or not? Because at this point, I feel like you just got to retire. <laughs> He's now almost 36 years old, a kicker. Nope, he is coming back for another season, guys. All right, so I sent to the Super Bowl took over for the Cardinals, and they're 12-5, and five, but here's the kicker. I, I had to make that joke, guys. The kicker is they picked back up Ben Jones. So he went 15 for 18, 83% kick percentage, and now I want to test out a theory. Can he win Super Bowl MVP? All right, so we are closing in at the end of the Super Bowl here, and as long as everything goes correctly here, I'm going to be kicking... 
my what is this? It's not 11. I think it's like 15. 15 times 3 is 45. So it's 14 kicks. We kicked 14 kicks in this game. Made 14 field goals. Okay? Nobody else in this game did anything close to 14 field goals. So if he does not win Super Bowl MVP, then this is absolutely bull crap. There's no way he should not win a Super Bowl MVP. He's made 14 field goals in this game. Every single point in this game was because of our kicker. So I'm going to tell you right now, man, there is no way. There is no way he doesn't get this. I mean, I know EA, they did not give him rookie of the year. They did not give him MVP. They didn't give him any award he should have gotten. But the kicker has to be here. Number 19. Where is number 19? Bro, I don't see number 19. And it actually ticks me off. <laughs> they don't even have him on the podium. They don't have this guy on the podium. This guy just put up every point in the Super Bowl. Every single point. He's not even on the stage next to the podium. Instead, the look, highlights is like, oh yeah, look at these uh, stats where these players did okay. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Like, okay, stat-wise... We played all three quarterbacks, so no one could have an unfair advantage. 159 yards, 129, 92, okay? Rushing 108 yards, 35, 12. Receiving 171, so they... They better not give it to Alex Jackson. Um, other than that, no. Like, dude, there's no way... Hang on, I gotta go back. One bad. Player stats here. Hold up. Let's go to kicking. 14 for 14, 100%, 58-yard long field goal. Freaking every single field goal. 14 in a row. Who won Super Bowl MVP? Who won it? And I swear on everything, if it's not who we think it is, I'm going to scream, bro. Because there's no way that anyone in that game... I mean, I guess you could say Vincent Jack... Or the Jackson guy. But still, like... That's questionable. 42 to 28. Okay. League history. The right end for the Cardinals won the MVP. The right end for the Cardinals apparently contributed more than, than our kicker did, who literally did pretty much freaking everything. I, I am just taken away. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. How good did he do? He had three sacks. Okay. He did have three sacks. Oh, but is three sacks better than 14 field goals? Literally the only point scored in this game. I don't think three sacks is equal to 14 field goals. I do not think that is equal. I think that you can make the same argument with what's his name? The other guy. Uh, I forget what the guy's name is. You can make an argument with... Um, I can't even remember the guy's name. Um, the Jackson guy, the wide receiver. But 179 yards. Like, he clearly, bro, he clearly did something special there, right? I, I, Madden, how do you hate kickers this much? You actually hate kickers. And who's going to retire? Is Ben Jones retired? Is he going to come back for another year, man? He's, he's still in the game, guys. He is not retiring yet. This is amazing. All right, so I sim forward to the next year, and the Cardinals are back in the Super Bowl. And you already guessed it. Yeah, Ben Jones is still on the Arizona Cardinals. He didn't really leave. Um, they keep re-signing him back to one-year contracts, which is kind of very disrespectful. But, I mean, it is what it is at this point. 14 years in the league, 16 for 17, 94%. Like, what do you expect? This guy isn't going to go anywhere and be successful anywhere else. And he's on a Super Bowl winning team at this point. So let's see what they do against the Jets in the Super Bowl. And ironically enough, they win. They won. So he has he won two Super Bowls to end off his career pretty much. But I shouldn't say end off his career because this guy has not retired. He is still going to be on the Arizona Cardinals or whoever else will pick him up. But he's won back-to-back -back Super Bowls at this point and kicked literally 14 field goals in a Super Bowl. 
He's 38 years old. Let's look at his legacy score. I want to see if he broke any, like, stats or anything. So, let's go to uh, stats and awards. And first, I'll go to legacy score. Um, let's go to kicker. And Justin Tucker currently had, what, three Super Bowls, four championships, nine yearly awards. Okay. How about our guy? Ben Jones. Two Super Bowls, two championships, and four yearly awards. So, Tucker's in the Hall of Fame, right? Uh... Literally, technically speaking, all Ben Jones needs is one more Super Bowl, two more championships, and how many yearly awards? Five more yearly awards in order to get Hall of Fame status, according to what Madden has for the kicker here, so, for Justin Tucker. So, I, I guess it's technically possible, guys. Alright, so the Cardinals made the playoffs again, but they did not make the Super Bowl. They actually went 9-8. and eight. So, Ben Jones is still in the Arizona Cardinals. Still one year, one year contracts over and over and over again for this guy. 11 for 14, 78%. 55 was his long. How many records has he broken kicking-wise here? Or is there, they don't have kicking records in that. EA. Fix your damn game. Alright. So, user act, let's go to active, or no, I think we go to team, actually. Yeah, team, and then let's go over to kicker. He currently still doesn't have more yearly awards. I mean, there's some point this guy has to retire. He's 39 years old, he's won two Super Bowls, should have won Super Bowl MVP if EA was not stupid. Um, but there's no way this guy's still not gonna retire at this point. Like, what more do you have to prove to the world, my man? I guess that you're that good? That you're just never going to retire and you're like Tom Brady, yes? He still refuses to t retire. That's absolutely insanity at this point. So after 20 years, Ben Jones officially retired a Denver Bronco. Interestingly enough, 43 years old. He was 20 years in the NFL. Fung Purdue. First pick overall in the NFL draft, and he's had one crazy run of a season. Ten years with Chicago, couple with, well, cu couple, a very long career with the Arizona Cardinals, and one with the Denver Broncos. In all those years, the guy never won MVP. Obviously, he didn't win Rookie of the Year. Didn't win Super Bowl MVP, which is still the biggest travesty. But what I want to do now is actually sim forward and see eventually if he does get in the Hall of Fame. Because how many years after? I think it's five years after, right? That you're actually eligible for the Hall of Fame. So I'm going to sim five years in the future. And I want to see if this guy can actually make the Hall of Fame. Because there is really no reason why he should not be in the Hall of Fame. I'm not saying that every kicker who has any type of skill level should be a Hall of Famer. But... With how he's played, he should be a Hall of Fame. Alright, so I sent him forward in the future. He never made the Hall of Fame. They never put him in there. Which, I guess, in the end, it's not the most outrageous thing that he never made the Hall of Fame. He was a great kicker, but he wasn't really, like, that crazy, insanely great kicker. Like, he, I mean, I don't know. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I mean, like, he wasn't 100% accuracy kicker-wise. But, you know, he got up there with close to awards of Justin Tucker. But even six years in the future, I mean, he could technically still make it maybe in the far future. I'll keep advancing. And if he does make it, I'll end up at it at the end of this video. But if not, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.